introduce the chair, and um, so we have Keith Jones, our president of Coffee Operations and Flyers, and Chrissy Raywalk, uh, director of athletics for the University of Delaware. So, Jones, you take it away? Uh, thank you very much, Kate. Welcome, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming today as we have exciting news to share, as Kate just mentioned. Uh, first, I want to thank our friends from the University of Delaware for being here today. We are excited to have you uh, and very much look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. This has been an exciting season for our organization, not only for our play on the ice, but off the ice as well. This season we have made en engaging with our fan base and community a priority and setting the standard for a new era of orange. So far, so good. Uh, we are extremely proud of the work of our organization, uh, things that have been done and continue to be done in our local community alongside our great partners at Snyder Youth Hockey and Education, who are also here in attendance right now to grow the game of hockey, the number one priority. Today we are taking another step in doing just that and are extremely excited to announce that we have partnered with the University of Delaware to support the development of their first ever NCAA Division I women's ice hockey program. So incredible news on that front and uh, exciting from our side as well as we want to continue to develop women's hockey in this area. We will work with the University of Delaware to help develop a first-class women's ice hockey program and support their community engagement while continuing to grow the game of hockey in our local communities. And at this time, I would like to introduce University of Delaware Director of Athletics, Chrissy Raywalk, who I met just shortly uh, a few minutes ago and she's a wonderful person that you guys will enjoy talking to as well thanks chris thank you thank you keith i really appreciate it uh, we are incredibly excited to be here today and i want to start out with some thank yous as well um, first and foremost to our university leadership thank you president asanas and our board of trustees for their continued investment and support to our partners from the flyers keith jones barry hanrahan Dan Hilferty, Cindy Stutman, Rob Bear, and especially Cynthia Punsalan, who from the very beginning saw the opportunity and believed in it, and we are incredibly grateful. And certainly, last but not least, Kevin Westgrath from the NHL. Uh, we certainly would not be here without your guidance and support. It has been a tremendous couple of months for the University of Delaware and Delaware Athletics. With the transition of our football program to the football bowl subdivision joining conference usa in 2025 being the 45th school in the country to add women's ice hockey joining college hockey america in 2025 and earlier this week we announced the hiring of our head coach allison kumi who joins us after spending seven seasons with Penn State, and we are incredibly grateful to have Coach Kumi joining our Blue Hens family to build and lead the 22nd varsity program at the University of Delaware. And now we find ourselves here at the Wells Fargo Center during Women's History Month, and I'm sitting next to Keith Jones <laughs> announcing a first of its kind partnership for women's hockey with one of the most storied programs in NHL, NHL history. Wow. I have to say that from the very beginning, it was clear that this partnership was going to matter to the Flyers organization, and that is because we are incredibly aligned with what we value. And there is no doubt, no doubt in my mind that this partnership will quickly put our program in a position to be successful. The pillars of our partnership will be growing the game of hockey, community engagement, and launching a world-class women's ice hockey program. We both feel a responsibility to invest in our community and utilizing the game of ice hockey as the vehicle is exciting and special. Our community engagement efforts will include co-hosting youth hockey clinics at Wrist Ice Arena at the University of Delaware, bringing the Flyers community caravan to the state of Delaware, and creating Flyers takeovers to Rust to bring the Wells Fargo atmosphere to UD. We all know that in order to build a successful program, you need to invest in your people. The Flyers are equally as committed as we are, and they are offering career and professional development opportunities for students, student athletes, coaches, and staff, which will include spots in the Flyers Next Shift program for our women's ice hockey student athletes, access to, to internship opportunities for our students, 
opportunities for our staff and coaches to visit practices, to shadow Flyers coaches and support staff, and participate in mentorship collaboration programs. These are just a few examples of the opportunities we will work and learn together to ultimately win together. I'm also pleased to share that the university has just begun to have conversations with Snyder Hockey as well, affiliates of the Flyers, and we are incredibly excited about the opportunities we have to work together. This is an incredible organization that is invested in developing young people through the sport of ice hockey. So, as you can probably tell, we're pretty darn excited. But what I certainly also feel is grateful. And as a very long time Flyers fan, growing up watching Ron Hextall, Tim Kerr, Brian Propp, John LeClaire, and many other Flyers greats, I am proud. I'm really, really proud. And certainly our hope is that this partnership is a catalyst for growth and innovation in women's hockey. Our goal is to create a sustainable model that other universities and organizations can use that will contribute to the continued investment and growth of this incredible sport. So thank you again. Keith, Barry, Dan, Cindy, Rob, and Cynthia, and many other members of the Flyers organization that we will look forward to working with for recognizing and being willing to invest in a partnership that will elevate the University of Delaware women's ice hockey program and grow this wonderful game. We look forward to seeing you all at Rust Ice Arena, happy to give you directions, and cheering on the Delaware Blue Hens in 2025. With that, I'd like to ask Coach Kumi to join me on stage. Oh, you want to do that first? Oh, yeah. All right. Awesome. <laughs> <Pause. laughs> <Sorry. laughs> no, you don't need to. <laughs> Thank you, Chrissy. We'll yeah. just open up for a quick um, question and answer, and then we'll do a photo off. Great job. <laughs> Uh, this would be either for you, for Chrissy, or for Mr. Jones. Uh, just the, the nature of this partnership, you guys presenting it as first of its kind, I'm, I'm curious, and certainly there's a lot of novelty to it. I don't mean to question it right away, but I think of Tennessee State's partnership with the Nashville Predators as well. It, does, is, this differentiates in that, that that's a club program as it started at, at Tennessee State, and this is obviously a Division I program. I mean, just if you could speak to what it means to have it be NCAA athletics in particular, the way this is first of its kind. I mean, it's remarkable. Again, you know, as as I as I said, the first of its kind, which with a, one of the most storied programs in NHL history, uh, and I can tell you the thing that's most exciting for me is the people that are part of this Flyers organization. You know, they are invested and they care about the sport, and not just about the performance, certainly winning matters, we know that, right? <laughs> it yes. matters a lot. Uh, but there's also this component of how do we help each other get better and how do we develop as, as humans and, and again, contributing to this community, right? And really being able to invest in young people and having people exposed to this incredible sport. And, uh, you know, that's incredibly exciting for me. And, you know, like I said, there's a personal component to this as well. I mean, I spent a lot of time watching Flyers hockey. I watched this guy, right? I mean, I did and I still do. <laughs> when we moved to Chicago, I remember my husband and I actually got the NHL pass so that I could watch my Flyers. So, you know, there's obviously a component of this that is pretty meaningful to me personally, um, but just reinforced by the people that, that we've been working with and talking with, and it's just really special. Extra fun and element of it where this is, you know, a tie to a Philly, a Philly program. Folks don't always mention UD as a, quote, Philly school, but certain appeal there where there's some Philly area schools that play in buildings like Wells Fargo. Not the case for Newark, but you still now kind of have a direct tie to a, a visible Philly brand. Absolutely, and what's what's neat, and Cynthia and I were talking about this, is I mean, there are a lot of Philadelphia fans in Delaware, a ton, and, and so our ability to, again, bring the Flyers to our Delaware beaches, to bring the Flyers organization throughout the state you know, again, that's going to help help everybody win, and and that's something that we're really invested in and excited about. For Mr. Jones, when it comes to just NCAA ice hockey in general, yeah. more, more and more of the NHL body of just players seems to be coming from the collegiate ranks. I mean, how appealing is this to have a direct partnership now with an NCAA up and coming? Yeah, program? it's great, and we're watching a lot of both the men's and women's tournaments right now. It's fabulous hockey. Um, I think any time that you can connect those two you're doing something right. So we're really excited about it as well. Uh, I'll be at the game. I will definitely come and visit. Uh, you don't need to give me directions. <laughs> and uh, we're going to enjoy it together. But it's, it's awesome when you can bring another group of people in to enjoy playing and watching hockey. And the more that play, the more that watch. 
And we need a lot of fans. We're still trying to build brick by brick here. So we're really excited about this connection as well. I think we've seen a lot of growth in, in women's hockey. How far do you think it's come maybe since your playing days to, to yeah, now? Yeah, a long way. And I've been fortunate enough to cover women's hockey at the Olympics. Um, incredible to watch, participate in, to be a part of. Um, it's just amazing to see how far it's come. And now watching professional women's hockey again has been uh, just a thrill. So they're starting to pack arenas. I think that's going to continue, obviously, to grow. And we're going to all do our part to make sure it does that. Some sort of happen overnight. How long has this sort of been in the plan? Well, you know, we uh, have been studying the FBS transition, and a part of that was also adding a women's sport. And women's ice hockey made a tremendous amount of sense. That's been going on for about a year. Uh, but the feasibility study and this idea, and I have to give Kevin from the NHL some credit here because he was the one that was said, "What about a partnership with the Flyers?" I'm like, seriously? <laughs> Uh, and, and honestly, it started from there. So about a year ago, we, we just began to have the conversations about what could it be. Um, we hadn't made the decisions yet on what we were going to do with FBS football, but as we were studying all these things, those conversations were taking place. This, this may have been mentioned back in the original announcement back in December, if my recollection is correct, but uh, when it came to the NHL's help in, in assessing the feasibility mm -hmm. of the program, if you could just Refresh us on how influential that was, because of course, the organizations knows exactly what's needed for that for that kind of thing. Would see. Yeah, I mean, it was terrific. And again, it wasn't just they funded it, which was obviously incredibly helpful, but it was also just the guidance, the questions, the perspectives that they brought. I mean, as you've heard me say, and I think it's really important for folks to understand this: we're not just coming to play; we're coming to win, right? And we want to build this really well and sustainable and be successful. And so their guidance was incredibly helpful, and incredibly important, and we're going to continue to ask for it. There, I told Kevin. You know, he's not going anywhere. He, he's going to help us along with, with the Flyers here to create one of the best programs in the country. I mean, that's, we shouldn't limit ourselves. Sorry, I got ahead of that. <laughs> <laughs> Front first. Okay. All, right. All right. You're going to direct us on this, right? <laughs> hey, Dennis. All right. Okay. This is our president. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice as to meet well. you. Congrats. 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 All right. So if you guys want to switch jerseys, well. You're going to have to guide yeah. us through this. No, that's okay. Yeah, just go ahead and do a swap. Yeah. All right. All right. This is your jersey. This is Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Awesome. And then we flip it to the back. Yeah. yeah. So when you're ready, guys. All right. <laughs> My modeling days. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. That's yours to keep. Thank you. <laughs>